Hello creative friends, this is Joy coming to you with another art journal page. So I added some more sticks to my cup of inspiration sticks and I realized that after I made these inspiration sticks and did a journal page that there was something missing which was color on the page. So I did another set of sticks in purple and on each one put some kind of a medium so that I could pick one of the purple sticks first and that would give me a way to get color on the page um, before pulling any of the other sticks out of the cup and I, that way it would give me a base to start with. And so each one of those sticks has uh, different things on there like ink, sprays, uh, watercolor, acrylics. Um, I went through my stash and just looked at different things that would put color on the page and added those to the purple sticks so that I could pull one of those first, get some color on the page, and then continue from there making my page. So I pulled another stick out of the cup. <clears throat> the first one, as uh, you saw, was uh, the spray inks. And so then the next one was animals. So I went through my stash and was looking at several different options to add some kind of an animal to this particular page and found several options that um, I liked and thought would work on this art journal page. And I quickly decided on uh, one of the um, pictures that I liked the most to add to this particular journal page which was the silhouette of an Indian on a horse. And so I did just a real rough kind of cut around to cut this picture out and then added that to my art journal page, um, as you see here, with a glue stick. And I always try to buy the glue sticks. It's like permanent glue sticks. So that way um, it's not like a school type glue stick where it's gonna come up or you know, not stick well. And uh, so I, I put that down on the page uh, with a gl uh, permanent glue stick. And then the next stick that I pulled out of the cup was um, pastels, oil pastels. So I put out my box of oil pastels and I wasn't sure what I was wanting to do this page. But, you know, I was just needed to get some kind of pattern or something going here so I just started making dashes around the the Indian and um, adding some other um, patterns to this particular page um, I'm not you know really that great at doodling, doodling. Um, I don't doodle and very often and so usually when it comes to doing kind of little doodly things like this, you know, I'm at a loss for what to do. But, um, you know, I always figure s something out. So here I, I'm just adding dots with uh, a blue old stick. And then I added the dashes and the orange and then the black to, you know, kind of bring the ground um, or the bottom part of the picture down um, to the bottom of the page. And then I um, decided to add some more dashes. I don't know <clears throat> if these are supposed to be like raindrops or what the heck they're supposed to be. I was just, you know, trying to think of different patterns and, you know, using different colors to just get some like different things going on this page um, to do some kind of a background. And then I... Um, decided to do some like hash ta, ha, do some hash marks or whatever on this page with the white but um you couldn't really see it i mean you could see it on the orange part of it um, a little bit there but you couldn't really see it on any of the you know on the other parts of it and i thought well this page probably could use some black anyway so i grabbed the black one and kind of went over where i did the white hash marks and then did it in black you know, so it'd stand out, you know, a little bit better. <clears throat> so um, I figured that should be enough for, you know, uh, patterns with the oil pastels. So then it, um, the next stick I pulled was the paint pens. So here I'm just doing some dots with the, the orange paint pens. And if I, you know, realized, I guess, that I was going to pull another 
drawing tool out like the paint pen. I, I probably wouldn't have done so many do doodles with the oil pastels, but oh well. I managed to incorporate, you know, some uh, doodling with the paint pens and the, you know, with the oil pastels. It didn't um, write over like I was trying to do circles around the dots and it wasn't really, the oil, uh, the paint pens don't uh, go over the oil pastels, which is fine. So I was having a little bit of trouble getting it to, you know, do circles around. And then I grabbed a, another color. I think I did it in blue and then I did some in black, I believe, to just put some circles around some of those dots to add a little bit more to the doodles that I had already created. And the next stick um, that I pulled out, um, I, here I just wanted to dry the paint pens uh, quickly, but the next stick that I pulled out was um, random words. And uh, I pulled a white paint pen that I had and tried to use it on the page, but it had um, like a bullet tip and it was not really writing very well. I don't even remember what the brand was, but I wasn't ha too happy with that. So then I grabbed my Posca pen and tried to scribble some kind of words on the page, but it wasn't um, showing up very well and I didn't like the way it was looking. So then I grabbed the black one and just kind of you know, started doing some scribbling on there to make it look like words. I, I didn't really, you know, write random words like the stick said. I just did more scribbles than anything. And so then the next um, paint pen or stick that um, I pulled said hearts. And I'm like, okay, uh, this page does not need hearts on it because it's the furthest thing from, you know, hearts. So I decided I was not going to do hearts and that I should just it was you know I just felt like it was pretty much um, just about completed anyway so I figured I'd go through my stash of quotes find a quote that I thought would be appropriate on this page and then add uh, a quote to the art journal page to finish the page because um, it seemed like to me you know that's all, about all it needed was just some kind of a quote added or two and I believe I did um, select two different quotes to add to this art journal. So the first quote says you cannot do a kindness too soon because you never know how soon it will be too late uh, by, by Ralph Waldo Emerson and then the other one that I put on the page that I thought was appropriate is we have the potential to be nobler than we know and better than we think by Jessica uh, Fletcher. So I like both of those quotes and um, I thought that they worked well with this page. So I grabbed out uh, my glue stick and glued those down to the page. And then I decided to use the oil sticks to put a border around the whole thing and to trace around the one quote as you saw me do. I just used um, like a, a dark blue um, oil stick to add the border. At first I was just gonna add a line and then I decided to fill it in, you know, that I liked it better filled in. But that's pretty much the art journal page for today. Um, I hope you guys like this, uh, you know, art journal page in this video. And if you do, you can hit the like button or if you'd like to see more, you can hit the subscribe button um, or you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you. I really appreciate you stopping by and taking the time to um, watch my videos. And I will talk to you guys again later. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.